Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Be Honest Games, and in this tutorial, I just want to show you how to use some easing functions in your game and give you this project, which I've just spent quite a while on, putting all of the easing functions into scripts with parameters and descriptions for you. So on screen, you can see here that I have some blocks that are moving from left to right. All of them are going from the exact same x coordinate to the exact same x coordinate. But obviously, they're doing it in vastly different ways. Each one of them is using one of these easing functions. And you can think of an easing function as getting from point A to point B in a non-linear fashion. So if we wanted to move this block to here, we would normally just say increase the x by 1 until it reaches that destination. But that is a linear, straight, boring path. Easing functions allow you to do much more interesting things like having a bounce in there or going even beyond where it's supposed to be and then snapping to it. So these are all examples of getting to your destination but doing it in a way that's not just plus one plus one until you reach there. So I'll show you the code I've got here and kind of how it works. Each of these blocks is pretty much identical except for the script they're calling. So I just have a create event that sets a current frame, max frame, a step in here, and an alarm. The alarm just triggers to go back from step zero to step one to move from left side of the screen to the right side of the screen and set to max frame minus one so the animation is correct. Inside of the step, I have two different parts that it can be doing, going from left to right or right to left. And then I set the x coordinate equal to the value that I get back from these functions that I'm calling that I've created. So the top block, the pink one, is actually ease in bounce. That is the one that's bouncing that looks really fun. And the way all of the scripts work, every single one functions exactly the same. And you can see here that I've got about 30 different scripts. So if I go to ease in bounce, I can open this up and you can see that I've got the name of it and then you have the parameters for those as well. And those will show up when you actually type it in, which is really cool. So this one specifically uses ease out bounce as well. So it's calling another script and all of them use four arguments. And if we look at ease out bounce, this one's a lot larger and you don't need to know what it's doing. I don't necessarily understand all the math that goes into it, but just know that it's there. It's very mathy, but it does some really cool stuff. So take advantage of it. If we go back to uh, the actual step event, I'll explain to you how you use these. So the ease in bounce. So the first thing is the current input, which you can see down here, which is my label to help me understand it. This is the only argument that should be changing. So it's the current input, it's where the frame is where I'm calling it, is where that's at. This is the one that changes over time so that it knows uh, what to do the math with. So it starts out at zero and then goes to a max frame. And that max frame is just the animation length, basically. So if we come in here and we change the animation max frame, the animation length, to a larger number, all of these will then run a lot slower. And you can see that it takes a lot longer to do their thing and it still works it's just a lot slower and actually you can see that this is the only one that's changing so it is the animation length that does that so the max frame okay then you have the minimum output and the maximum output those are the two numbers that it's going to be between. It's going to not be lower than 200 and not be higher than 600 here. And because I'm assigning it to the X coordinate, uh, that's what this is going to be. So it doesn't matter where this starts. If I put this over here, it's still going to start in the same place as all the other blocks because that's what my X is being assigned to. But you can use that for any value and get it back. And that's how you use all of the functions. They're exactly the same, except in what they do, but they work and run the same way this way. So you can go in and change any one of these. Uh, let's go to ease in expo. I don't think I'm using this one yet. Change it to ease out expo. Oh, didn't type that correctly. And then you don't need to change anything else, but it will change the animation of it, which is really cool. It looks like the green one is Expo as well. 
But this allows you to have total creative freedom in how the animations in your game play out when you're using these functions. You can go in and change them anytime if you don't like it or if you find someone else that's created a new kind of easing and in, 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 in and out function. You just throw that into your game and it doesn't change anything. It won't break anything. You don't have to worry about that. And that is one of the really cool things is that they all kind of work throughout with the same inputs. You can just change the function that you're calling to have a different kind of animation. So that's what I've got for you. If you end up doing anything really cool with these functions, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments below. But that's all I've got for you today. So thanks for joining me. And as always, have fun making great games. And I will talk to you later.